Hello and welcome to Top Lista. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In this video, we tackle the hard truths about why you might be single. By the end, you will understand the true reasons behind your status and learn how to address them. Have you ever wondered why you are still riding solo in the game of love? Do you sometimes feel like there is a secret to relationships that you are just not getting? This is a common dilemma for many men, and the reasons are not what you expect. The problem is when you don't know the real reasons you keep repeating the same mistakes that land you back at square one. Number 12 No one is given a chance by you. Being picky is a good thing, but being too careful could cause you to pass on excellent possibilities. Giving someone a chance, even if they don't initially pique your attention, gives you the chance to uncover hidden traits and compatibilities. It's all about striking a balance between being open to new experiences and upholding your standards. Additionally, dating can help you meet new people and their friends who may be more compatible with your interests. However, you must strike a balance between being picky and being open to new experiences. Number 11. One major obstacle to building a lasting connection is that you are not being yourself. Are you creating your life according to your true passions and aspirations, or are you going down a route that has been predetermined by others? If you are pursuing goals in your own life, your dating life will mirror your genuineness. It can be difficult to find a spouse who truly compliments you if your hobbies or way of life don't align with your inner principles. When you are not authentic, you tend to attract people who are similar to you. Partners who result in partnerships that aren't fulfilling reflecting on your true desires in life is essential, even if it necessitates making unconventional decisions. When you embrace your authentic self, you will find a mate who shares your authentic life number 10. You're too particular to be in dating, discernment is crucial, but there's a thin line between being cautious and being unduly particular. Being overly particular is placing more emphasis on outward characteristics, such as appearance, employment status, or small habits, than on deeper aspects of compatibility, such as communication of values. Emotional maturity and style finding a balance between your preferences and deal breakers is crucial. On the other hand, it's vital to have standards that keep you safe from unhealthy relationships. Analyze what qualities in a mate are essential and what can be compromised. Remarkable connections can sometimes arise from the most unlikely locations, and satisfying relationships can result from being adaptable. 9 is the number after having a bad dating or relationship experience, it's common to become extremely cautious. This hypersensitivity can cause you to see red flags everywhere, even in minor issues. For example, if someone is a few minutes late for a date, you may interpret it as a lack of interest or respect. This increased awareness can make it difficult to make new connections because small misunderstandings or mistakes are exaggerated. It's important to find a balance between respecting your boundaries and avoiding letting your past relationships unduly color your perception of new ones. Keep in mind that not everyone will treat you the same way as your previous partners did. For introverts, you are an introvert. Finding a balance that allows you to be true to your introverted nature while still opening doors to new connections is what makes dating challenging. While extroverts may find it easier to meet people and engage in social activities, introverts may prefer quieter environments. Nevertheless, forming new relationships requires stepping outside of your comfort zone, which means attending social gatherings, participating in group activities, or even trying online dating. The effort to interact more can significantly increase the chances of meeting someone special. The seventh you are expecting too much. While having high standards in a relationship is necessary, having too high standards can make it difficult to find a compatible spouse. You have to realize that, although it's great to know what you're looking for in a partner, expecting someone to check every box on a long checklist will prevent you from finding truly good matches. 
No one can live up to your high expectations, and you run the risk of missing out on someone who, despite not being perfect, could be the one to complete the puzzle. Strike a balance between having standards and being realistic about the qualities that are actually important in a partner. After all, relationships are about complementing each other, not about finding a flawless individual. The sixth you come on too strong, while it's okay to express emotions, it might be inappropriate to overwhelm someone with strong feelings too soon, building a connection takes time, and putting someone on a pedestal too soon can distort your perception of them and the relationship. Instead, take your time to genuinely get to know the other person and let the relationship evolve at a comfortable pace for both parties. When one person appears to be much more invested than the other, it can create a sense of pressure and imbalance in the budding relationship, which can lead to the other person withdrawing to avoid discomfort. The fifth reason people give for remaining single is that they are too busy to date anyone in the world. As with any major aspect of life, dating takes time and effort, so if your schedule is busy, it's important to set aside specific times for dating activities. This could be as easy as scheduling some time each day to reply to messages on dating apps or setting aside a few evenings each week for possible dates or social events. Remember that making time for social activities where you could meet new people is just as important as scheduling actual dates. Juggling committed dating with a hectic life number 4, you work from home. The trend of working from home has been accelerated by recent global events, which has had a significant impact on social interactions. When you work from home, the likelihood of meeting someone haphazardly on your commute or at office events decreases significantly. Therefore, it is crucial to actively seek out social interactions outside of your home. This could involve working from a cafe a few times a week, attending evening classes or groups, or simply going on more trips outside like to the grocery store. 3. You haven't found the one yet, sometimes being single is just a matter of not having met the right person. Creating these opportunities for chance encounters can significantly increase your chances of meeting someone special and make up for the decreased social interaction that comes with working from home. Finding a compatible partner can be a different experience for each person. While some people can connect with a wide range of personalities, others may require a very specific kind of partner before they feel a deep, meaningful click. For those in the latter group, it may take longer to filter through potential partners until they find someone who truly speaks to them. It's a process of discovery, and for some people, it takes longer than others to find the right match. The second reason is that you can't move on from your past relationships. Holding on to the past, particularly if it involves a failed relationship, can make it difficult to make new friends. Recalling an ex can also set unrealistic expectations for future relationships. It can also make it difficult to see the potential in new people. Therefore, it's important to actively work on letting go of these attachments. This involves thinking back on why the relationship didn't work out, unfollowing them on social media, and putting your healing first. Moving forward calls for acknowledging the past without letting it interfere with your present and future dating experiences. First dating isn't your priority, a lot of men don't actively prioritize dating since their schedules are too packed with job, hobbies, and social obligations. This leads to them staying single. While it's acceptable to prioritize other elements of life, dating often gets neglected and is viewed more as a passive aspiration than an active pursuit. However, it's crucial to understand that, just like any goal, successful dating involves effort and intention. It's time to deliberately create room in your life for dating if you're finding yourself yearning for a relationship. This doesn't mean cramming it into an already full schedule, instead, it means being open to opportunities and making deliberate attempts to go out on dates or meet new people. Recall that developing a fulfilling romantic relationship requires the same level of focused attention as achieving professional or personal goals. If you're still single, it's critical to examine yourself for potential causes rather than placing the blame elsewhere. Take some time to consider your own behaviors and mindset. Instead of BL naming others, acknowledge and address your shortcomings to bring about positive changes and boost the likelihood of having a lasting relationship. Concentrate on developing yourself for a better relationship in the future. Thank you for watching. If you have made it this far, please leave a 100% positive remark below to indicate that you have learned anything from this video.
For more fascinating subjects, be sure to watch the suggested video that is currently playing.